software engineer in Stripe Dublin. Uh, this is a CSS talk at a JavaScript meetup um, before you heckle. The idea here is that I had a minor CSS annoyance that I turned into a JavaScript programming problem to try and get it working. Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of rapidly go through it. So um, at Stripe we, uh, we have financial stuff, so we have regulations, so we need to do document reviews and prove we know uh, our customer's identity. If we can't do it automatically, we might get reviewers, like this imaginary interface where we show some documents on the right hand side and then ask the reviewers to make some decisions about whether they're valid or not, for example. Um, obviously this is not ideal because um, I might be looking at all these various documents and I have to remember the answers up here. So it must be a, like a one line CSS thing, right? Or, um, you know, the last few years, uh, you'd often use JavaScript, right, for things that might float in a certain place, but I had a look and I thought, okay, there must be a CSS way to do this. Um, so why not use position fixed? Uh, if we do that, it just says, tells the element to, like always look like it's in the same place in the viewport, right? So um, we can scroll up and down. This is now fixed here. I can be reviewing the document and looking here. Problem solved. We can all go home. Um, the only thing, of course, is that um, this gets really nasty um, when just simple things like zooming, scaling, and we'll see the next one, is if we want to have multiple reviews on the same page, for example. So I put three sets of documents here. There's one box because they're all stacked on top of each other. So that's really helpful. So let's bring in position sticky. Um, the idea with position sticky is that we're saying that you want to be fixed and floating but only, in the parent, uh, only within its parent container, right? So kind of a bit toned down. Um, and so what we'll see here is kind of cool is that as we scroll, um, the scrolling pushes this down, right? So it tries to stay in view as best it can. So our white box on the left. Um, and the only thing is that it's not allowed to leave its parent container. So as it tries to leave, it turns into a normal, normal positioning, right? So it scrolls up. Um, and then the second one here, as it starts to go out of view, um, it also uh, st st sticks along. And if we kind of zoom in and out and things like that, it just does the right thing. I think what's nice from a JavaScript point of view is now it kind of feels composable, or right? like we can use this in different places and not worry about it blowing out of the page. Um, so let's zoom in how this works. So um, before we saw we we're scrolling the whole page, um, here I have a set of, like you could say, kind of contact books, if you like. And as I scroll them, you can see, for example, the letter B is staying within the letter Bs. And then we move up here, and we get this kind of nice contact, like billiard ball effect. Uh, we don't have to do anything. It's just how the, how the rules work. And not, the only thing that's happening here is the big letters are staying within their parent container. And now the scroll container, i.e. the thing that's pushing them up and down, is each of these four boxes. Okay, that's the simple part. And then I found, like many CSS features, that as soon as you go to use it, there's one specific way to use it, and most of the others will just do nothing. Um, so let's go through a few attempts. So attempt one. So I've just simplified the review interface we saw here with colored boxes. So we want the purple one on the left. We want that to, to slide along nicely. So attempt one, uh, we've added position sticky, and it's doing nothing. Um, so I created this little JavaScript debugger, um, which only needed once, but I'd love if, if it just existed in the browsers. Um, and it says, okay, why isn't that floating? So let's see why. Let's click the debugger. Sticky element has no explicit offset. Okay, so even though we set uh, position sticky, it doesn't assume anything. You have to tell it. Uh, so top zero says, as soon as it's zero pixels away from going out of view, start floating. Okay, let's get rid of that one and, and try again. Uh, so now this one, let's see, still not scrolling. What have we done wrong? Okay, cool. We've got the we've got an error. Let's uh, have a look back here. So sticky element is the same height as its parent, so it won't be able to move. So you can see the color here indicates the element where we found the error. So that's the purple one. So which is really easy when when all of these things are white, right? It's really easy not to notice that you put it on the full left sidebar. So because it's the same height, it's trying to move within its parent container. It's not allowed to move but it also its parent container is the same size, so it goes nowhere. The reason I left this kind of weird stacking thing is because you notice the sticky did happen, right? As in, it's now floating, it's just not moving. And when this is all white, it's impossible to tell what's going on. Um, 
Okay, so we fix that, we put it on the right element. Uh, what could go wrong? Okay, so it says ancestor div is scroll container because of overflow x hidden. So you may know that a very common is to add overflow hidden to a bunch of your components or cards on the page. It makes sure if you have rounded borders and things like that, that stuff doesn't go outside. It turns out that if you add overflow hidden, CSS helpfully considers that a scroll container. And, and that's what we're scrolling relative to. And so nothing's going to move anywhere. And then attempt four, let's see. Cool, we're scrolling. And our debugger finally says this to each element should float. So as a wrap up, use position sticky, always use an offset. Overflow hidden is cancer, get rid of it. And um, look out for overflow clip, which is kind of what we've always wanted, which says that um, clip off anything that could go outside, but it's not a scroll container, because how can you scroll an unscrollable scroll container? So thanks, everyone.